Now, um, I, I, at this point, I can't do anything with it. I need to turn it into a button or a movie clip. And believe it or not, I'm going to choose movie clip. Okay, and I'll show you why in a moment. But let's go ahead and choose movie clip. What, what do I click on? F8. Absolutely, F8. And we're going to call this my, even though it's a movie clip, I'm still going to call it my button because I'm going to turn it into a button. And hit OK. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually, now that I have it, I have to give it an instance name. Now let's just talk about what that means. Let's go to Properties. And now that's the movie clip, up comes all these wonderful things. And right here is something called Instance Name. And what the instant name allows me, to, allows me to do is attach a tag to this movie clip, and actually that allows me to program it. So the movie clip, in a sense, is kind of like a program, programmatic wrapper that I put around this image. And so the movie clip has all types of functions and methods and variables and properties. And uh, I can access those as long as I give it a name. And so what I can call it anything. In this particular case, I'll just call it uh, my button. So let's go back to properties. And we'll call it my button. Or my URL button. That might be a better name. Because I'm going to call URL. URL. Now at this point, you might think, oh, i got a lot of programming to do to make this call a URL, right? But I'm going to show you how to do this with just one click of a button, how to create all the code you need. Now real quick here, I want to tell you, sh show you something we haven't talked about yet, and that is the Actions panel. The Actions panel actually is going to allow you to do action scripting. Action scripting is basically like JavaScripting, if you've done that before, except it's all inside the Flash Player. As a matter of fact, over the years, actually, action scripting has now become more structured than JavaScript, and it's more like C++ or Java believe it or not. So we're going to come along here and we're actually going to script this button. See, I, I've highlighted it. So I want to show you the actions window first. So where do you get to things? You go to window and you can go to actions, for example. F9 will bring that up for you. Let's try it again. I think I got rid of it. Let's bring it back. And down here I can see my little actions panel. Now I could just come in here and type action script, but that's not what I want to do. I've got an easier way to do this. I'm going to click on this and what Adobe has done is give us this little automatic script panel. And they have all types of code snippets there, and it's a great way to start learning how to program. And we're going to click on, uh, let's go up and see if we have anything up here. Click to go to a web page. Isn't that cool? So let's go ahead and click on that, and that gives us all the code that we need to bring up a web page right here. And what's even great about this code, it actually explains to you how it works and how to use it. Isn't that amazing? That's beautiful. Now, we used to always have to keep this in our head and type it in by hand. But now you have Adobe actually giving you that code through these little snippets. I love this. I think it's the right direction, and I hope they do more of it. Now, what you want to recognize immediately is what? There's the name of that button, my URL button. That's the instance name. So that allows me to attach to it what's called an event listener. So what's happening is that the code is waiting for me to do something. It has an event listener attached to it. So it's waiting for something to happen. And what it's ha waiting to happen for is the next thing, a mouse click. And so whenever I click on that mouse, it's going to run a function. And this is the name of the function that's inside that little parenthesis. You see that? So in this parenthesis of the event listener is the event that is going to happen, the mouse click, and also the function that's going to run. And below that is a function. And, what, and here's the function name. And it says, well, here's the mouse event. And, when the, and what the mouse event is going to be is to navigate to URL. And that's the command that you use in Flash to grab a URL. Now, in this particular case, the URL that we're going to go to is Adobe's URL. But you could come along here and put any URL you want to. You could put Google, for example. Let's go ahead and do that. Google.com. Now, what this means right here is this is actually underscore blank means it's going to bring it up in another page. Right another window. And so there's all types of things like self and target and all these things you may have seen before if you've done some HTML pro programming. But in this particular case, I'm going to bring it up in blank. Now sometimes this is very important because in some e-learning systems, if you try to bring it up inside the uh, pane that you're in, it'll stop the system. It'll turn it off. So it's nice to have it pop up above in a blank panel. And that's actually what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, do we have anything we need here? Yes, it already generated code for us automatically. You just stick your URL in there. All right. So let's go ahead and run the program and see if we can actually go to Google. So I can move, pull this down. And now I'm going to go uh, Control Test Movie or you know Control Enter and hit uh, Test. And here's my little movie right here. And I roll over here and I click on that button and padam! It took me right to Google. Now let me show you something. I'm not connected to the web. So it took me to Google, and what did it say? Uh, there you can see, I went to Google, I'm not, Google not found, right? Because I'm not connected to the web. But if I had been, I'd gone right to Google. So there you go, it's rocking and rolling. So what I want you guys to do now is to go ahead and cut your button out.
in Photoshop, bring in a flash, and program it to go to a website. Okay, we're back from break, and what I want to point out to you guys is when we actually made that action script, you got this little A here at the top. It looks like a blank frame, but it has a little A, and what that A means is an action script in that uh, frame. So if you want to actually look at the action script that was created, make sure you click on that, and then you hit Windows or F9, go to Actions, and then up comes your action script. And so that was the action script that we made. Here's our instance name. Here's our event listener, and that's what's so important what Adobe has done. They've created an event listener model, so you it actually listens for something to happen, and when you happen, and when it happens, you, it runs a method. Okay, and so that's so simple to do. And as you move on this class, you'll learn how you'll learn how to write these methods yourself. So at that point, I want to move on from here. And just a real point here: most people do put their actions at the very top of the uh, layer stack. What happens many times though is uh, some people are clicked on something else and they try to hit the actions panel and the action script doesn't come up. You actually need to be clicked on that layer on the action script to see the action script. And so at this point what I want to do is show you how to bring a PDF in here, which will bring in URLs, but you can bring in other documents as well. And let's use a PDF for example. So I have this PDF right here and I'm just going to copy that. It's just a flash readme PDF, so we'll copy that. And what you need to do is go ahead and set your file structure up. And what I've done is I actually put the FLA in a file and that file is called my flash website or my flash site and there it is just the uh, FLA is there and the Swift the SWF that was running when you compiled it so what I want to do is create a folder I'm gonna call it PDFs so go to new and go to folder and just call it PDFs and I'm just gonna paste my PDF right in there so what's interesting here you have to realize is that the PDF is what one down from where the flash file lives so in order to reference the PDF, you actually have to talk about the, the, the folder that's in, and you can use a slash to reference it. So as opposed to talking and talking about PDF slash sla the file Absolutely, name. PDF slash the file name. So I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this file name so I have it in my clipboard, and I'll go ahead and go back to my program. And uh, let's go back to our Flash program, and let's go ahead and click on our action so we can bring our action script up. And we're going to go to Windows Action, or F9 bring that up and then right here where I was going to the um, uh, HTML site I don't need to do that anymore I want to go to my what my PDF site was that what folder name was what again PDFs right and my file was flash PDF but I have to put what the file extension right dot PDF very good and now when I run this file it should bring the PDF up for me let's cross our fingers and hope that it does and then we'll be and then we'll be done with today's lesson so let's go file save control test movie okay and let's click on the button and cross our fingers server not found what's going on what's my problem right here we're gonna go to publish settings and make sure that you have HTML clicked. And when you do that in this particular file, you're actually going to now publish this. So bring this, I'm going to bring this down so you can see. Hit publish. And when you do, it's going to actually include an HTML file in your folder structure. You click the HTML file. That runs the SWF, which also will allow you to bring up the PDF so you don't get an error. So hit OK. Let's take a look at our file itself. In our file, we have my flash site. We have a new file in there, and that actually is an HTML file. It's a, a Firefox document. So let's click on that. That'll actually run our Flash site. So the cool thing here, if you if you don't have the Flash player on your machine, if you don't have Flash on your machine and you want to run an SWF, it won't run if you just click on that. But you can always put it in an HTML file and run it in an HTML file. So we have it here. And let's click on this and see if our PDF runs. Hoo-hoo, thank God. I'm now running a PDF. Uh, from my flash file. And that's how you do it. Got to run that PDF in the flash launcher file. Specify 